because they believe in our business. Good. That and has nothing to do with politics. That's great. And you think the government is in the business of regulating so, business. So, so if the government is in the business of regulating business, what would be the problem with the government telling Buddy Romer he is not allowed to invest in your business? No, that has, no, no, those are two different issues. No problem, no problem. No, it's, it's, one thing is to say, hey, let's set reasonable limitations on what can happen around elections, which is, again, what most developed Western countries do. So, and they have different versions of that rule. There's uh, ads you, can run, uh, you can't run ads within a certain period of time. You have public financing versus private financing. Those are rules around an election. That is a completely different issue than the government saying randomly you can and you can't invest in businesses. Why? So you're conflating those two issues that have nothing to do with one another. Why? So let, let, let's just, uh, we're, Wait, we're, what does why mean? Because it's Those a, are because, two, hey, why, hey, you because, know, you believe in education, quick, so why quick. don't you believe in healthcare? Because it's, a, because it's a free country and I get to spend my money wherever I damn well please. All right. So as we're coming to the close here, we're going to do one okay, more. I got to ask him. I got to ask him. All right, very quick, so very you, quick. You damn though. well please. Okay, so when the Koch brothers or Bloomberg or Soros puts in hundreds of millions of dollars into elections, you think, well, I just do them because they're good guys and they want, and they're just, they're, they damn well please buying all those politicians. Or you think, no, the politicians would never be affected by hundreds of millions of dollars in legalized bribes. Okay. And you can't just spend your money anywhere you want. Of course there are rules. You can't bribe people. Right. There's many things you can't do with your money. And one yeah. of those should be bribing politicians, but we made it legal. Chink. So I'm curious what your opinion on that is. So, okay, do you so, think that they're just golly shucks? So, uh, they just mean well? And Chink, you're a lawyer, so you know that bribery requires two parties to the bribe. If I give money to a politician, there must be something in return. If there is no quid pro quo, there is no bribery. You think there's nothing in return? Well, you, have you think the politicians don't no, do those I think, favors? I think, no, I think very often there is something in return. But I want you to point me to the things that are in return, not just say that all spending on politics ought to be forbidden except for the Young Turks. No, that is of course not what we say. If, 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 you, if you want to get money out of politics and then you said the Young Turks cannot donate money to politicians, I'd say, of course, that's the whole point of getting money out of politics. Wait, so, so, okay. so, 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 so this idea that, you, Cheng, well, hey, on. what? Come on. It's so disingenuous. If, even if you're a Republican and you're a conservative, you think there isn't crony capitalism? You think that that $4.4 trillion okay, that went in subsidies final, final isn't question. because they got campaign donations? You know it's because Cheng, they got campaign fin donations. Cheng. Okay, final question. This is going to be the last word final on Final thing here last on this, word. okay? Final question on this. So, Young Turks is super successful. We have 80 million uniques. It's, it's wonderful. Do you think Thank Bernie you. Sanders would care more if you gave him $10,000 or if you dedicated your entire network to kissing his ass for an election cycle? <laughs>